Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. This is a video that is going to be hard to keep under 3 minutes. There is so much random stuff packed into this topic, taught at once, and a lot of it is just repeated from other topics. So to start off, I'm going to reference you to other videos. If you need help with any of the topics on screen, and that's why you came to this video, go into the description and check out my other videos explaining them. Okay, three things you need to learn in this video. First, is that sometimes you might be given the roots of a function and told to build a function. All you need to do is put them in parentheses and multiply each factor by one another. Okay, that's number one. Number two is polynomial long division. Sometimes to shrink a polynomial down when it has too many values in its expression, we use polynomial long division. Your goal in polynomial long division is to always make it so whatever you put on top multiplies by the divisor to get whatever the first degree of the dividend is. Then you subtract which cancels out the first degree and you rinse and repeat this until you're left with either zero or a remainder which you would add onto the end of the quotient over the divisor. So your rule with polynomial long division is to multiply then subtract and rinse and repeat till you are done. Okay, that is part two. The last thing we need to talk about is binomial theorem using Pascal's triangle. Say you had an expression like x plus 5 to the fifth. Now you could foil forever and figure out the answer to this, but Pascal's triangle is a shortcut to figuring it out. Pascal's triangle is a diagram of numbers where each number is the sum of the numbers above it. Adding powers to Pascal's triangle, you can see the pattern of exponents going up and down. In this triangle, consider the f term referring to the factor and whatever factors in the parentheses we plug into the f spot, and of course the fifth row because it's the fifth power, then solve the exponent and multiply each term, and you get the answer. This is the shortcut way using the binomial theorem. And that is all, my friends. Here's some problems for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers up now. See you in the next one.